Honey, when are you going to start coming upstairs and start looking for a job for once? Mom, shut up! I'm not coming upstairs yet! I'm trying to do my reaction videos! Oh my gosh, that's so funny! That was so funny. React channels have been around on YouTube for so many years, and if you've been here long enough, you've definitely seen one of them. But if you've seen one good React channel, you've probably also seen thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of bad React channels. I can't tell you how many times I've been on YouTube or Instagram or Facebook and been on Reels just scrolling through trying to find funny videos. And I'll find a hilarious video that I think is funny and I want to like, until I realize that there's a creepy man sitting in the corner not doing anything, practically hidden from the video. These channels like to call themselves react channels when really they don't react to anything. They just sit in the bottom of the corner, make a face or two. That's what I like to call content stealing. And just recently, I have a prime example of this content stealing happening on a video of Grandma Dubstep. Now I think this is the original video, but I have no clue whether or not this is the original or not because of how rampant the content stealing has become. So this may or may not be the original creator of this video, but here's the video. Just a harmless video of grandma getting lit to some dubstep. No harm, no foul, right? And the first time I saw this video, I thought, man, this is a very interesting, fun video. I want to like this video. I want to subscribe to whoever made this content. But then I started seeing the video over and over again in my feed. And this is the first one I came across. See if you can spot the difference. If you were paying close attention there, you might have seen the guy enjoying some snacks down in the bottom corner. He didn't make one comment about what he was watching. He didn't react to the video in any way. He just sat there in the corner. And then when the beat dropped, he started bobbing his head a little bit. And he posted it to his channel and got 2.9 thousand likes on his short. All will he put in 0% effort into making that video. Yes, that makes me very angry. But he's not the only offender. Let's go ahead and check out the next guy I saw. Do you guys actually think that they're making a good video when they steal people's content like this? Do they think that this is actually going to get them subscribers? Because if they do, they are absolutely out of their damn mind. Did they think they were making quality content here? Let me know in the comments below if you've seen stuff like this. I remember when I was first creating my YouTube channel and I was on TikTok a little bit too, I actually did this one time. I tried to put a funny movie clip that I liked and I was in the corner and then I tried to react to it. I found myself just sitting there and then kind of smiling and then I felt kind of dirty and gross. Like, this isn't real content. This doesn't take any creativity or any talent whatsoever. And so I deleted that video. And look, I'm not trying to go after creators like myself who are new to this platform and are trying to make a name for themselves in a good, positive way. But I am also going to point out how this is just content stealing. You've not made it your own. You haven't altered the content in any way. And you haven't made this a review or a reaction in any way. There's no commentary of your opinion going on here. And these two weren't the only guys who I found with this exact same video sitting in the corner doing nothing. Thing. Not to mention the countless other videos I see all over social media of people doing this exact same thing, thinking that they're actually a content creator. You're not a content creator. You're a content stealer who's trying to get clout and free subscribers and followers by doing nothing. Now to go to our big name person of the day who in my opinion gives a bad name to React channels in general. The infamous Sniper Wolf. Now I'm sure it's no secret at this point that Sniper Wolf has had big problems with many YouTubers. Moist Critical has come out and spoken against her. Now over the past year, Jax Films was in a few with her where he was going over the fact that she basically doesn't react to any content and is essentially just stealing other people's content for views. And this all led to her doxing him in the middle of one of his own live streams. Hold on. This is T. Is she like trying to dox you right now? I don't know, but that's that, really That, like, scary. yeah, that's... That's not that's good. That's really sketchy. You're She's literally get outside your, your house. Door. What? She's literally right outside your oh house. Oh my god. Wait, what? Call, like, call the police. No, yeah, there's a joke. video. She's outside your house story. right now. I'm gonna end this. Um, yeah, but... Yeah, yeah end the stream. Sorry, gamers. Um, Thank you for coming out. Not 
to mention the fact that she also has put copyright strikes on several people who have pointed out that her content is content stealing or have poked fun at the fact that she doesn't really react to anything in the videos. A big YouTuber named One Giant Onion just came out with a video recently where he watched several hours of Sniper Wolf's content and he didn't react to it because he wanted to make a point by not reacting to the content at all that he was doing what Sniper Wolf does. And that was kind of the whole point of the video. But he ended up getting a copyright strike because of that. Which is kind of funny because Sniper Wolf's content isn't even her own because she is a reaction channel. Let's go ahead and take a look at the awesome content that she has to provide on her channel. Hello friends, it's me. And today we're going to be checking out some wholesome TikToks. What? There's a family. Oh. Baby, Froggy, Mama's <laughs> Mama, and me. I found them. Oh. <laughs> oh, hey, Daddy, baby. <laughs> she found a baby Froggy and a Mama Froggy. What a riveting commentary from Sniper Wolf there. Notice how she played the entire clip of someone else's TikTok without any pauses in there to say anything. Not only did she not pause the video one bit, but she also was just smiling and laughing the whole time, but it's still essentially just content stealing. And what amazing thing does she have to say at the end of this video to actually make it a reaction video? Well, here it is. <laughs> She found a baby foggy and a mama foggy. I've found that in a lot of videos, she just says exactly what we can see with our own eyes, but she repeats it. She feels the need she has to tell us what's happening. Oh, this kid thought he had superpowers. Like, he, he thought that was all him. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for giving us the context of the video. We had no clue what was going on before you said those things. Next, you're going to tell me that the dad is behind him messing with the stuff or something. But we got dad in the background throwing a fan. Like, oh! Ah, there it is. Cool. Now we know the dad has the fan. I, I did not know that before. Now, as much as it pains me to say this, Sniper Wolf's videos are not as bad as the videos I showed before of the guys just sitting there doing nothing. But her videos are sometimes close to nothing. I was bored, so I went on Google. Google Maps and I decided to go to my boyfriend's work since I saw myself on Google Maps and we have the same work schedule in days off I know he was at work on that day but he wasn't there I only found his co-worker at the booth so I decided to look around then I found him cheating on me with another girl no way. If you guys have seen any of my other videos, you'll see that a lot of times when I'm showing a clip, I like to pause the clip at key moments so that I can talk about it, give my opinions, and kind of react to things. In all of her videos, she plays the longest clips of other people's content. We'll get through the very end of it, and then we'll say something like, wow, that was totally unexpected, or hey, that's crazy. And sometimes she'll say a few more things after that. On top of this, for a giant YouTuber, there's a lot of editing mistakes in a lot of her videos that I found. And this is just one of the mistakes. Hello, friends. It's me. And today we are checking out some TikToks that give me secondhand embarrassment. Hello, friends. It's me. And today we are checking out some TikToks that give me secondhand embarrassment. That clip wasn't altered or edited in any way whatsoever. She literally put two intros back to back in her video. And the video still got somewhere in the area of like 3 million views. Come on, you guys can't be that gullible. What, did the editor have the day off or something? When you're pulling in millions of views on every single one of your videos, maybe put in a little bit more time and effort into it. Maybe checking the first 30 seconds of your video to make sure that there's no editing mistakes. My BFF showing me her new Just man when we don't have the same Be type. nice. I'm finding it. <laughs> It take you that long to it find does, it? It does, it does. Uh, I'm sure that that TikToker made some really good content and some really funny videos for people who really enjoy her videos. It's too bad that the millions of people who watch Sniper Wolf's video won't actually watch this creator's video because they've already watched Sniper Wolf's video and they don't need to see the other person's stuff again. Who can we really turn to for the best reaction content possible? Well, look no further than Ryan Reacts. All the videos that you're looking for reacted to by me. This challenge, I decided to build a tree house that I thought was like tiny and easy and had less pieces. And what really happened was I had the hard one and she had the easy one the whole time. That's mm. sticking huh. on. How long does this take huh. to dry? Like, I want to know if I can let it go right now. This guy's pretty funny. It's been 10 minutes and I've done this. <laughs> Does There's, a that experience? On There's like no glue on this. Mm. It's frosting. It's a Pringle. Awful. I have a bone to pick with Ooh, gingerbread house making companies. You know those mm. little glue mm. packets, the frosting mm. that's actually the glue? Mm. The glue that's supposed to hold it all together? Yeah, well that frosting also sucks. Mm. It's a mm. sorry excuse for glue. Like you might as well just use real glue. 
I couldn't for the life of me stick any of this crap together, so I ended up just having to glue the whole thing and just like slam everything on it. The frosting Bro. doesn't work. Bro. Bro. Did you guys like my reaction content? Party's never dull at Ryan Reacts. As we move forward, let's all make a better effort to not support the reaction channels that are blatantly stealing content, and let's try our best to make sure that we're actually supporting the original content creators who make content on their own. But let's stop supporting these lazy people who are doing nothing. Also, Sniper Wolf, don't copyright strike me, please. That's about all the time I have here today, though, but if you enjoyed this video, please check out another video on my channel. I'm new on YouTube, and I appreciate all the love and support. If you're not a person who makes good decisions on your own, just follow what the algorithm's telling you to watch right here. But other than that, all I have left to say for this video is a uh, bye-bye. Oh, this Pringles are good.